Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Good afternoon in Estonia. Good evening. Uh, good, good evening over here, yeah. <laughs> and good morning here from Houston. I am Nancy Reyes Lumen, and here we are again with another awesome story. And this time we are going to travel to Europe because we have a very, very famous person. Who <laughs> oh, very famous. <laughs> who who has allowed us to for a live stream interview a very inspiring story not not just because it's in estonia which is in europe and also in sweden but this is a story also about his love for the philippines we welcome mr aidan ray music composer writer former ramp model foodie singer and he has fans. <laughs> Welcome, Aiden. Thank you, thank you, Nancy. I'm I'm so I'm so glad that you that you invited me, and I'm I appreciate it. Yeah, it's so nice, you know. When we first met, when was that? What year was that? It was um, I I think 2017 something. Yeah. yeah, 2013, and I was surprised. What is what are you doing here in the Philippines? And and then when I heard the word Estonia, I said I don't know that place. So yeah. it was so far and magical to me. But then here you are in reality, and you're there, and I'm here, but. There's some a big connection between you and me right now. It we're is. So it proud is. And so happy for what you have done. Tell us first about your um, your childhood. Well, my childhood was not that interesting and inspiring. I mean, I, I think it will sound cliche, but I came from, for, yeah, yeah, I said seriously, but I came from pretty poor family, so we couldn't afford like music lessons and stuff. So I think I started doing music when i was 12 mm. when yeah when i was 12 when uh my best friend I, I was actually walking you know along corridors in school and singing some songs and then a uh, best friend of mine uh victoria from singapore travelizer she took me to the music studio and then the next day i started performing they just put me on the stage it was really? actually yeah I, I was super nervous i was super nervous i was wearing glasses yeah. And uh, yeah, it was crazy. Uh, Aiden, please speak a little louder so we can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So, what was the first thing you did on stage? I sang uh, a song of Britney Spears called "Sometimes." Really? <laughs> yes. Twelve years old. Twelve years old. Yeah. Yeah, I think I was 12. Don't and ask then, me. <laughs> and then from there on, you proceeded with music. You developed your love for music and all. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I couldn't write music. I didn't know how to write music. And then, like, after after years, uh, years were passing by, and then I... Um, I started learning how to write music, basically, because I always heard music in my in my head, you know, when I was dreaming or whatever, and then I, uh, it, it's just how it started, yeah. Yeah, so that became your career, or what, what career did you take on? Uh, well, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to become a web designer, and, uh -huh. but, but yeah, and I wanted to be a fire rescuer, and then the house builder, and then, yeah, many, many things, but then eventually I ended up doing this, and also, uh, I'm in health industry, so I'm making health projects, some uh, holistic medicine and stuff oh, like really? that. Yeah, yeah I'm doing that. About that. That's interesting. Well, I have my project called Health Programs on uh, Aurora Company products, and then um, we are helping and consulting people based on their health, like. Um, we have a group of people, doctors, naturologists, like mm -hmm. all types of professionals. And then we are like helping them to improve their health, doing detox programs and mm -hmm. like maintaining their health. Well, what about music? Isn't music a uh, part of healthy living? Of, and of course it is. Of course it is. You, you perfectly know that most musicians are crazy. They're <laughs> drinking a lot. They're partying a lot. So... <laughs> I've been through everything too, you know. Are you crazy? But, 
Yeah, I, I think I'm crazy. You you cannot you cannot say it right away, but you know me perfectly. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What else did you do? Uh, so you had the holistic. So you're into this uh, kind of new age or holistic, you know, nature and all that. Is that a spiritual? Yeah. Mystical? No, it's it's. I mean, it's a complex of things. Of course, it's a spiritual things too. But it's basically uh, food supplements too. So we're recommending them people to take them and some particular ones to uh, make detox programs and uh, to maintain their health systems. Is there yeah, a but lot also? Huh? Is there a lot of detox needs uh, in Estonia and Sweden? I mean. I work in that with all world, with, with the whole world. Like I have oh. people from around the world, Germany, um, Australia. I don't know, you name it, USA, Russia, everything, Estonia. I mean, everyone. You know, people need to be healthy, and they need to eat. They need to eat, and they need to be healthy. Right? Without without being healthy, you cannot work. You cannot be productive. You cannot do anything. Right? So, okay. it's the most important thing. Yeah. Okay. Other than other than that, what else did you do? Music. I mean, I'm I'm doing music. I have the record. I have recording studio. I have production a company really? uh, called the TBH Park Music and Global Movements Media Group, along with with Jenna Zar, who's my best friend, who's f uh, also one of the founders of the company. Uh -huh. And then, uh, yeah, we produce music and we sell songs as well okay. as we produce it for ourselves and we release music all types of music soundtracks um instrumental music and uh, all types of songs in different genres we actually really love doing it. I, I read you, you i read something about grammy recording yeah we are part of grammys me uh -huh. and janet zahar we are we are part what of grammys yeah what does that involve well, we've been in uh, Los Angeles and we met some people on Grammy uh, Grammy's uh, party. So mm -hmm. they uh, they they asked for our music. So we gave our, uh, we gave our music. We shared our music with them, and they really liked it. And they uh, they asked us to join the the, the Grammys. So I mean, we can vote. We are voting. We are like it's eight uh, o'clock. Uh, we we also. Um, Sending music for consideration so we can win Grammys and stuff wow. like that. We are in community, yeah. Wow. Really? I mean, we have an amazing team, yeah. Our uh -huh. company is amazing. Yeah. Did you... I don't, I, I'm not sure if I remember right. You said you used to model also? Yes. <laughs> I used... I mean, I, I do it sometimes when they ask mm -hmm. me to, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> I did for Hilton in the philippines and 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 um i mean in the philippines i did a lot of things so yeah well i will tell the story about the philippines i will mention that too i know i know yeah i i want to hear that later so uh yeah. so you modeled also in the philippines I, yes i did for what products so they will buy they will buy <laughs> <laughs> i mean it was it was a uh, like a second ago i mean like I did for 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 uh, for uh, I think for for Hilton hotels for Adidas for things mm -hmm. like that brands mm -hmm. like that yeah okay it wasn't that huge I mean I was not you know the face of the company but yeah, I was yeah. doing some things yeah I ah, and also uh -huh. I'm sorry and also yeah I, I now I remember since it, it was like a little part of the story when I was I will be telling about the Philippines but. I was modeling for Magazine, yeah, Tita Magazine, the, the, the woman who is making uh, vitamin C in the Philippines. She's an amazing person and a good friend. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I was doing it there too. Well, she has to re watch the replay of this. Uh, of course. Interview. Yeah. Okay, so Estonia, before we go to the Philippines, mm -hmm. first your native country. So what what's Estonia like? I mean, I... I know <laughs> in Europe. I mean, it's cold. Uh, you know, it's it's a cold country. It's very clean and beautiful country. The nature is amazing, yeah, but it's pretty okay. cold for me. That is why maybe since since I was young, I started traveling a lot. My uh, my father used to live in New York, and uh, he used to send me a lot of music from from there. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I got inspired by by American and Swedish music, and basically here in Estonia, mm-hmm. sometimes I'm here, but all my musical connections, all my music connections, are in Sweden. Wow. So yeah, so that's the connection. So may I just know when you said it's cold? What what's the temperature there now? Yeah, I I think now it's minus three or five. Really? Celsius, yeah, but it's going to be minus 30 soon. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Here it's, um, now it's 16, 68 Fahrenheit here in Houston. I have no idea what is that in Celsius. <laughs> okay. But I guess it's not as cold, yeah. I mean, yeah. that is why I love Philippines, you know, because yeah. it's warm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you now a little more on Estonia, because we also have foodies who are listening, chefs, uh, people yeah. who are in cruises, and you know they're involved mm. in food. And I'm sure, like me, they're as curious to what do Estonians eat and where exactly is that? So you said you you work in Sweden, so that means that Sweden is just a neighbor neighbor country. Yeah, it's a neighboring country. Yeah, it's a neighbor country. What about Russia? It is also a neighbor country, yeah. So, I mean, Estonia includes, like, in terms of food, it includes, like, a lot of cultures, you know. So the main thing is, um, you know, like, if, in Philippines, lechon. Yeah. Here, yeah, here also, here, here also people do like pork. Uh-huh. They like uh, fermented cabbage. Ooh, I love, so yeah, yeah, I love, I love, I love fermented cabbage. Oh, and, um yeah, Russian salad is very traditional thing. Russian salad is, you know, uh-huh. uh, potatoes and uh, onions and uh, cucumber and uh, these carrots uh, boiled and then chopped into cubes with mayo. So, so like it's that. a pork. It's a pork eating country like the Philippines. It is. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of pork though, but yeah, I love pork. Is. Hey, no, but you then, know what, Aiden? Um, mm. Aside from sauerkraut, you know what I do with uh, cabbage? I burn it. I really just cook it so, so, yeah. so, uh, so hot that it's mm. almost brown, and it's uh, yeah. the sweetness comes out, and it's so delicious. I love it. I, I you know, because you were the first person, uh, not the first person, but as you remember, we met with you in your uh, restaurant, in your daily restaurant, Commissary yeah. Kitchen, which I absolutely adored. And I was visiting it like every day to, to eat because like back back then I was vegetarian and I couldn't eat anything. Right now I'm like already, you know, eating almost everything. But yeah, okay, I loved your food. Yeah. So so uh, okay, Estonia would be like um, like Europe at the same time. No Asian flavors like soy sauce or sesame oil. No? I'm using these things. I'm using these things because I'm a man of the world. You know, uh-huh. I'm using soy sauce. I love sesame seeds. Uh, Estonians don't do that much, to be okay. honest. But I mean, I love spices. I'm, okay. I'm cooking. I'm, I'm also like consulting some restaurants and chefs on how to do dishes. I love it. Yeah. How about adobo? I haven't tried yours. That is no, why we it's have about to be- your adobo. I, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I know that I know that I have to try yours first in yeah. order for me to do something something <laughs> similar to that. But of course, you'll be the better. You'll yeah. be the best. So, so do you use vinegar a lot? I, I personally use vinegar a lot. Yeah, apple vinegar uh, mm-hmm. and um, the standard one, not that much. But uh, but the locals, they 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 do. They yeah. Use. Okay, because I know mm. uh, sometimes mo- some of you would cook pork with beer. Yeah, and yeah. We have a recipe of adobo with beer. So maybe it had some mm-hmm. Estonian influence. But okay, what's the difference between Swedish food and Estonian food? Any difference or? Not a lot of difference, but um, S- Swedes do like cinnamon. I love cinnamon too. Uh-huh. You know, fika. Fika is a Swedish thing. It's um, the cinnamon bun and then a cup of coffee. So this is their traditional thing uh, in the morning. Okay. Yeah, it's it's beautiful, yeah. Yeah, you said rye bread also. 
Rye bread everywhere, of course, is the most important. It's, it's like the main thing here and in Sweden, the rye bread. So it's a very healthy bread. Yeah, it is because it doesn't consist uh, any yeast and uh, it's black. Oh, yeah. yeah, so it's good. It's good. Okay, so that was how your family uh, nourished you when you were young and uh, now that you're cooking on your own. You're, you're not vegetarian anymore, you said. So you're not... Yeah, uh, yeah. Only okay. All right. Okay, so you said your first experience uh, with music was singing. How did you now get into instruments? Uh, well, that's the thing. I didn't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you were... So how, how I did, did you... Huh. So I will tell you this. <clears throat> When we met with uh, with this amazing singer and founder of of TBH Park Music, Janet Zohar, who became my best friend, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, we founded also Global Movements Media Group. Uh, she had a team. She had a team already with with people who were playing instruments and stuff. So mm -hmm. uh, when I compose music and songs, I have it in my head. So I write lyrics. I have the melody, so I put it on the, you know, on, on, um, uh, on, I don't know, some recording device. And then with, already with, with instrumentalists, we are making the arrangements happen. So okay. this is how we do. I mean, I play a little bit on piano, but if you would ask me to play concert, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how, have you ever met the ABBA? No, but I know friend. I know my friend. Uh, he's actually Swedish, but he lives in the Philippines. I will tell about him a little bit, a few words, uh, a little bit later. Who knows personally? Uh, yeah, Bjorn. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go now to the Philippines. What brought right. you to the Philippines? Well, this story started when uh, when I was in LA uh, with my friend, with the same friend, Janet Zor, who, yeah, yeah. who is like, as I said, yeah, amazing singer and vocal producer and entertainer. Uh -huh. And uh, um, and uh, I mean, like, we, I, I remember we finished our project in Los Angeles, and I got a message. Uh, we were making some video project, and uh, then I got a message from my longtime friend, Filipino Roma Luna who's a great uh, entrepreneur and entertainer in Manila. <clears throat> What's his name? Ronald Ro Ro Rommel, Rommel Luna. Rommel Luna. Yeah. And he invited me to come over for a while. So the next day I flew over to Manila. <laughs> this, is, really? this is how it all started. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't want to come back here in the studio because I didn't want to spend uh, winter here. It's pretty oh. cold, you know. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, and then like he said, you can stay at my place for as long as you want and everything. And then, so, and then since he's in entertainment too, uh huh. Uh, then I was doing radio, uh, radio, TV interviews, appearances, some concerts, modeling, uh -huh. uh, and, and then I met uh, another friend, Joe Rosa Rosa. Uh, I'm calling her Rosario because I like how it sounds better. <laughs> uh, I met an amazing guy from spiritual organization, Loved Flock, among yeah. them, uh, mm -hmm. Loved Flock, among them, Babe Sonaris, Gege Gudito, Joy, uh, and Des. They became my family, really, really special people to me. Okay. And with my dear friend Rommel, we were able to make some great projects, including photo shoots, uh, photo shoots with multi-talented uh, Mark Dizon. He's an amazing photographer and videographer who became my dear friend. We traveled a lot together, so that is why I was able to explore Philippines more. You know, like my where, game. Huh? Where did you travel in the Philippines? We traveled to Marinduki, we traveled to Boracay, we traveled. I really liked, I don't know why, maybe you will laugh at me, but I really like Puerto Galera. Okay. We, right. we traveled to Palawan, uh, uh -huh. yeah, and then uh, for the first time I saw scorpions, you know, and, and <laughs> huge spiders, yeah, and other, uh, other places too. <clears throat> I, met a, I met a lot of friends uh, because, of, because of them, and amazing people. Well, which was your favorite province that you visited? 
Uh, I think I would. Uh, I, I I had to go actually to um, to Bohol, I, but I didn't with 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 my friend uh, Gagi Gudito. Uh, but I couldn't. Yeah, we we didn't do it. You know, mm -hmm. next time. Yeah. Well, yeah. make it soon. Now it's winter. You can already fly there. <laughs> The exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And uh, and then you know, and uh, uh, ah, by the way, uh, mm. another uh, another amazing friend who I met to Ronald Luna was Mike James from MYMJ Brands. He is doing clothing, and uh, and actually with him we even appeared uh, for uh, for a few seconds in one movie called uh, Luck at First Sight among with Bella Padilla and Jericho Rosales, if you know them. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was not even in the credits <laughs> there, but it was a few seconds, but that was a lot of fun. It was amazing. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then, actually, this this friend that I was telling to you who, who knows ABBA, uh, he's an expat uh, entrepreneur, Chris, uh, Christopher Kostrom and Jan Frostnack, who are Specializing in LED lightning from Diode International, they they uh, they they know Abba. They live there. Yeah. They live in the Philippines. They live in Philippines. I mean, between Philippines and uh, and Stockholm, Sweden. But really? um, yeah, but Jan he he lives in in Philippines uh, permanently. I yeah. I also have a couple <clears throat> there a couple. Uh, my friends in Sweden, uh, I'd like to say hello, Pinky, and hello, Mats. Elerud. Oh yes, Elerud, yeah, yeah. You see, from Sweden. So so so, so many con so many connections, so many connections, That's and so true. many interest, and so many interesting people. You know, the thing is that I was living here uh, like for so many years. I mean, I was studying in France too. I was studying in Russia too, uh -huh. but. Um, but as in Philippines, I didn't, I, I don't get as much friends as I did in Philippines. Like, you know, so many people from Rotary Club, Carlos Cusi, John Solana yeah. from Aquatech Team. I mean, amazing people. And but also, that's also, Tita, because, that's also because you're very approachable. And you, you also think approach so? nicely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not approaching, it's just, you know, we just stick together. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because you're Poggy. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you know that, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, it depends, of course. <laughs> okay. Name <clears throat> your top three foods that you enjoyed in the Philippines and your top three drinks. Oh, my God. I think it will be tough. Uh... I know, I, I remember one uh, restaurant that I've been in Tagaytay. Mm -hmm. In Tagaytay, it, it was a very good, fancy restaurant, and I enjoyed everything there. Antonio. I don't, I, I don't know what's the, I don't know what's the name, but it, it was like everything was so good, you know. Like it, even the, this, some kind of pancakes with, with stuffing with some, sweet st stuffing it was like amazing the fish uh what was it was ah i love bangos i love oh, bangos. Good. yeah good. i love cooking bangos too really Very nice. yeah, i love it yeah i love it <laughs> how do you cook bangos i just fry it or grill it uh, mostly grill it i love grilled food for me oh that's good yeah yeah i yeah, love, I love grilled food. yeah i i yeah. i make I first adobo the bangus and then I grill it dry. So uh, I, that, you, you know, this is another reason why we have to meet urgently because <laughs> we need to try each other's food finally. <laughs> you and try, also, huh? try bangus with soy sauce and, calam and lemon or calamansi. Oh. The best. Of, yeah, 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 of course I tried it. And yeah. it's, it's, it's speaking about the food, you know, and experience and you cooking, you know. <laughs> I, oh, I, I wanted back in the Philippines, I wanted to start a travel show oh. uh, around, uh, yeah, around the Philippines with Aiden Ray. The idea would be like me with some Filipino host, it might be you, by the way, to travel around the Philippines, trying local cuisine, reviewing it, you know, exploring places, interviewing local people learning about their culture, you know, lifestyle, 
And uh, I think that would be great. You're in the right place. This is our awesome planet. That's why I think we have to make this project happen. And you can together. travel with Anton. Yeah, with Anton and you. Yes. <laughs> okay. So now we go to the most important part of the interview. And I am, first of all, before, before we reveal to the audience what this is all about, I would like to thank you very much for your interest and for your, I think it's not just, it's, it's not just interest, it's your fondness for the Philippines. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy for that. And I'm so glad. It is, it is proven in what you did for us. Okay, so now we'll, we'll talk about the album. Please tell them what the album is all about because they, they have no idea. I, you know, since I met uh, so many, I, I don't know how to tell it in a few words, but since I met a few, uh, you know, so many great people and um, Filipinos, uh, Filipinos are so heartwarming, how, uh, you know, welcoming people, you know, I, I understood right away, I wanted to do something special for the Philippines, all yeah. these amazing people, you know, so I came out with the idea to, to create a song and the album. So I wrote a song called the Philippines. Yes. And yeah, the song. And then like, after that, after that, I decided to make the whole album, but then I decided to make more of it. So I decided to make song even greater and bigger. Okay. So I knew I couldn't do it in the Philippines. So I, 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 I flew to Estonia, called my good friend, very famous conductor here and in Europe. Uh, his name is Erki Pek and asked him to help me to gather a choir, a choir, the whole choir. So we were able to gather an Estonian national choir with Heli Jurgensson as head of it. And uh -huh. we recorded and we recorded 50 people singing the Philippines song that I wrote. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. Then yeah. I flew. Then I flew. It was like it was such a multicultural and multi country, you know, project because then I flew to to our recording studio, TBH Park Music. Uh, in Kazakhstan to finish the song in oh, Kazakhstan. Okay. Imagine. <laughs> so my best team among with Jani Zohar, Ruslan Usmanov, Anton Mishirikov and Yevgeny Zdenka, they were helping me to finish the song, you know. And some uh, uh, some other tracks on the future album are produced with some producers from Los Angeles, New York, Stockholm and London. Oh. So, yeah, it's like oh, it's... Yeah. Uh, it's it's really multi, you know, cultural project. Yeah, it's very and beautiful one. It comes at the right time when the Philippines is really rising with the new with the new administration, and mm -hmm. um, a lot of Filipinos, as you said, there you know there are many Filipinos in Europe. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I, I I learned about it. There's so yeah. many. You said uh, you yourself. I I didn't even know about. Uh, how many Filipinos? You said there were like 50,000 Filipino residents in Sweden. In, uh, yeah, uh, in, in Nordic, in, uh, in, in, uh, in Nordic countries, 50,000 Filipinos. In Sweden alone, 13,000. Uh-huh, yeah. And 4 million in USA, more than 2 million in Saudi Arabia. So, you know, the, the project is you know, it's a unity project to unite people from around the world. The song is also the main song. The Philippines is also in English in, in, in Tagalog. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Tell us more about your stay in the Philippines. You said you were there for one and a half years. Um, Almost two years, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. you, you went through the typhoons as well, the flood. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You continue to love us still? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I've been. <laughs> uh, I I remember one typhoon. Uh, we were in Marinduque, uh, this little island, and then another one. I was home in 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 Manila, and uh, I was uh, I was going. I was freaking out. I was alone at, at the <laughs> house, and then I didn't know what to do. You know, it was crazy. I was calling my mother and. My friends from from other countries telling to them like, my God, I don't know what to do, how to <laughs> save myself. They were like, don't worry. Ah, actually, I was one night I was performing in um, 
in one casino um, resorts i think it was resorts world yeah yeah uh the one in malate it was is resorts world or malate yeah no, it was city well, I, well city what, i think i was no i i think i don't remember the 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 actual name i was performing somewhere there and then i like when when i had a car you know driving me back to the house we were go we were you know driving along the beach and the way the waves were like so huge they were literally almost like flooding our car you know back to the sea trying to get us back to the sea not back to the sea but yeah. you know to the sea for us to be eaten by sharks and you know no. everything no we eat the sharks the sharks don't eat us Okay, okay, okay. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay. So, um you said uh tell us more. You said how did you how did you how did you get into the culture of the Filipinos or Well, what I was What do you say uh, about the culture of the Filipinos? You know, I think it's very different. I think it's very different since uh I mean we cannot compare of course the territory of like for example US or Russia to Philippines the Philippines are like super small yeah we but don't at the same time either Yeah exactly but at the same time you know culture is so different you 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 you're just like going to another island and and people are already different they even speak differently you know mm -hmm. so when i was like going with my friends uh, along with my friends to some other uh, islands or some other uh territories some of them they couldn't understand each other you know and and it's it's very interesting to learn more about them so i really like to stay not in in some you know fancy hotels where you can stay everywhere around the world but in some local communities in, in some local you know families from like for example uh, like relatives of some of some friends of mine you know so yeah. they would introduce me to their culture their uh, you know um their traditions and food and uh, everything so it's very interesting for me and i was like learning so much from that okay before we continue we'd like to acknowledge somebody who sent you a, a text uh, from a former ambassador to italy virgilio reyes junior he said congrats Oh, thank you so much. He's also as well traveled as you are and he's a connoisseur of food. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. So, um okay, how did you go about producing um the the album? You said uh why do you want to call it an unofficial anthem? an unofficial anthem because it sounds like that you know uh, when i when i made a when i made a song when i composed a song and then imagine 50 people from estonia yeah. singing in tagalog uh you know and uh, in english for for another country for the philippines i think it's a unity thing because it connects like mm -hmm. so many countries it connects philippines estonia russia actually also some some producers from Russia uh Kazakhstan I think I mentioned Sweden mm -hmm. uh like so many different cultures you know I, and 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 then I thought like it sounds like an anthem so uh -huh. you know when people when you will be able to put on snippet of the song then people will understand that it sounds like an anthem you know okay. uh, how did you how did you make Estonian speak Filipino speak the well anthem? Well they they learned <laughs> they learned a few words. I mean it's just a few words of course not the whole song is in Tagalog but just to make it more you know uh, colors of of the Philippines uh, I wanted it to have a few uh, lines in Tagalog of course. Okay maybe it's about time well you have any more things to add so you said you flew to Kazakhstan to record some songs of the of the album Mm -hmm. and um uh you said uh, of course filipino professionals who were the filipino professionals that you had with you uh in terms of what i, I have I, hmm? i was just reading your story 
and you said and of course I flew to Kazakhstan to record and uh, work with Swedish, Russian, Estonian, Russian, and of course Filipino professionals. Were they based mm. in Estonia mm. or Russia or Sweden? Uh, in Sweden, I may uh, I I met a few Filipinos too. Mm -hmm. And actually, when I started this project, when I started putting out this project online, then a lot of Filipinos from around the world they started, you know, connecting with me. So it was That's it was nice. very good. It's it's a, it's amazing thing. Yeah, it's amazing how people. I mean, every one of us we want to unite in some way, you know. And of course, by culture, by song, by by especially pop culture that is like in in everyone's heart. You know, we can you know unite through our hearts together. Yes. Yeah. Actually, when you talk of culture, there's so many differences, and yet there are many similarities. For one thing. There are only two seasons in the Philippines, and you have four. So mm -hmm. that that's already a big difference in outlook. As you said, when it's winter, we we don't understand what what winter is to you because we don't, you know, in the Philippines you don't really experience cold like you have to wear ten layers, right? Exactly, exactly. Whether it's lonely there or. Uh, not depressing or something, you know? I don't know. Philippines. It is. Yeah. It's here. It is. That is why we have to, you know, people who, who constantly live here, they have to entertain themselves, uh, you know, just to, to make sure they're happy, you know, they, they can be more happy. So they go to some events, they, they're like building some snowman, you yeah. know, and stuff like that. If when there is a snow, it's more fun, of course. Okay. Well, uh, on the other hand, Filipino. Well, I think what connects us now is music. Filipinos, they have a natural beat, a Latin beat, in yeah. their in their stomach, in their heart, in True. their mind, in their feet, mm -hmm. and and uh, they they're natural dancers. Actually, exactly. Filipinos are very flirty. They exactly. Are flirts. <laughs> you know, they can flirt with their with them because music is always inside them maybe that's why i think no matter how the poverty or the harsh exactly. life you see them smiling didn't you notice that in the provinces oh, <laughs> exactly exactly i mean uh, i i met so many so many poor kids you know and they were like so happy we spent a lot of good time together you know like yeah. It's it's amazing. That is why I think that is why my heart belongs to that country so much, mm -hmm. um, because I'm the sub person. I don't know. Maybe I I was born in the in a, in the wrong family or something. You know, because sometimes I think that I connect a lot with with um, I, I actually connect connect with with different cultures and uh, easily, and I feel that. You know, this part or that part belongs to here or here or here. I cannot say that I'm like completely Estonian or whatever. You know, no, no it's not about me. The world. Exactly. This is this is my citizenship. This is my nationality. This is my true yeah. nationality. Oh, I I show you the photo you had of the there. All right. You see. Yeah. That? This is exactly. This is the the this is this amazing kids that I've I, I met. I think. I don't remember. We stuck somewhere on the island, and then uh, one family they just they just invited us to to stay over, and we were having fun with these kids. You know, it was like it was super. Where cool. was this? What province was this? I don't remember. I think it's some island, uh, some island near. Mm, okay. I don't remember. Yeah, okay. maybe Marinduki actually. Okay, so now we can proceed with some of the assorted photos. I think this would be about um, more of, more about your country, Estonia. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this um, is this is the cover of the album. Very beautiful. Who who whose concept was this? It was my concept. Um, nice. I, yeah, I had it in my head. I, I saw the picture and then I had to, I worked with a lot of people actually uh, by doing this. So I drew it, you know, I just made a scratch and then I worked with some 
person from uh, New York. Mm -hmm. And then I also worked, uh, and actually the picture, the, rig uh, the original picture uh, was made by the dearest friend of mine, uh, Mark Dizon from, mm -hmm. from Manila, from Philippines. I just have and a comment. Mm -hmm. when, when the Philippine flag, when the red is up, that means they are in a state of war. When the blue, the blue okay. is up, that means it's a peace time. Okay. So we have everything here, yeah? So you are there fighting the, maybe you are there in a state of war against the climate, <laughs> climate change. It, oh yeah, oh yeah, you know, we, we, we actually, I remember we had this campaign uh, when I was in the Philippines, we were, we were gathering the trash from the ocean. Really? Oh my God. Yeah, of course. So of course, there's a lot of things to fight for there. Uh -huh. And and this album, the Unity album, is is for that. You know, we stand for for many things. That is why we want to connect all types of countries, all types of people to to support the the this cause, the different causes. You know, so yeah. yeah. We wish you. We know it will work. Okay. We let's go to the next slide. What's oh yeah, this is. Yeah, this is the traditional ancient food from from the from one of my favorite actually local restaurants called Alde Hansa in Estonia in the center of the city which is just near uh, from from where I'm staying and they have this local traditional food uh food that that is you know spiced up with with some ancient you know blends of spices it's very yeah. good it's very interesting some pickles you can see here yeah, I can some see spreads sausage. yeah mm -hmm. i see sauerkraut and bread yeah by the way uh aiden do you speak uh russian or swedish or german what is it i speak uh estonian a, a little bit already because i forgot it uh, i mean i was not here like for a long time so and with my Estonian local friends, I used I used to speak with in English. I mean, some a lot of Estonian kids, you know, they're speaking English between each other. I don't know why, you know. Mm -hmm. That's that's why, you know, when I was younger, I, I spoke Estonian fluently, but um, now I already forgot. I cannot I cannot make an interview in Estonian anymore. To be honest, really? I cannot do that. Yes, yeah, so I speak English here, okay. and I speak fluently Russian. Uh -huh. um, and I understand some other languages, like I understand a little bit Ukrainian, I understand a little bit of like other languages because, you know, knowing like English, Russian, Estonian, um, uh, ah, and also French a little bit. Swedish. Swedish just a little bit, yeah, uh -huh. just a little bit. Because okay. everyone in Sweden speaks English, you know, so you, uh -huh. I mean, I don't have to learn Swedish because everyone speaks uh, English yeah. over there from their childhood. Yeah, even like in the Philippines. Uh, exactly. We, 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 we speak in a lot of English and, um, and Tagalog, so that's why we, we say Taglish. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay, next slide. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so this uh, this is the picture of, as you can read, the Philippines project. So this is the this is like a few people of the choir when we were recording, uh, you know, national choir in in Estonia National Opera House, which is super beautiful. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, so we were recording it there. Mm, okay, mm -hmm. where's the the conductor? She's not here. <laughs> she's be she's behind the scenes. She's somewhere like on the right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. We will see that. Uh, you 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 shared you shared with us a video of this. Uh, we will see that later. What's this? Uh, Chocolate. Oh well. Yeah. This is the this is the right bread. The right oh, bread. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. It's black. I will bring you someone we made finally. That's so heavy. Yeah. So it heavy. Is, I, yeah, I, but. Huh? When I eat rye bread, I put uh, maybe one inch thick of butter to eat it. <laughs> uh, you see on the right corner, you you can see the butter here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah, of course with butter. Oh, yeah, that, that's nice. Mm -hmm. 
What's oh, and this is this is the ambience of of this restaurant that I was telling to you yeah. like earlier a few minutes ago. This is the this ancient type of of restaurant, all the Hansa in the center of the city. Very nice place. I love Very it. Very rustic. What and food? Rich, huh? what, what wood is you? What wood do you grow in uh in Estonia? Teak. Uh, the wood. The wood. Uh, I mean, like so many. Starting uh -huh. from starting from from uh, I mean of course not the palm trees, but starting from the birch until like whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, yeah, so many. And this restaurant says, you see, the lights are only candles over there. Uh -huh. so, th so this is the restaurant. We saw pickles earlier, so these yeah. pickles are from this restaurant. They're mm -hmm. serving it here. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. this is the this is the this restaurant. Yeah. That's the facade. Okay. Yeah, this is the facade. Yeah. Well, there's the name Old What? Things. All the Hansa. All the Hansa. Ah, uh, all the Hansa. Okay. Mm -hmm. All days like old Hansa mm -hmm. is uh, the name. Yeah. All right. Cobblestone. <coughs> okay. Uh, this is this is the yeah. Janet Zohar. This. Oh, uh, Hi, Janet. Uh, She's beautiful. She's an amazing singer and uh, producer and uh, entertainer. And she's a vocal yeah. producer also. So you, as you see, she's working on the Philippines song in the oh. studio in Kazakhstan. Yes. Yeah, so this is the thing. I think yeah. she's editing. I think she's editing choir or my voice or whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, and this is the this is the some of the people from the choir in the middle. After, uh, if you see me in the black holding yeah. hands like that, yeah. uh, this is the conductor on the right in blue, uh, Heli Jurgensson, an amazing oh, person. This yeah, lady she's amazing. On she's your an amazing right. person. She's saint. Yeah. Wow, she looks young. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wow. So there was. So there were altos and sopranos and bassos and tenors there? I mean, yeah, I, have, I think everything, everyone was there. <laughs> wow. What's that? Uh, the, I know that. Uh, the, yeah, you know that because it looks like lechon, right? Isn't that lechon? Uh, it, it is. They're do, so why, I, uh, why this picture? Because here in Estonia, they do the same thing, you see? You see also one another similarity. But why is the skin, why the skin doesn't look crispy? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> it's not, it's really not crispy. Do you eat the skin or you just take I it? Haven't, I the... haven't eaten pork for, uh, I don't know, for maybe half of my life oh <laughs> wow you're missing so much well when we meet i will make an assumption and when we are <laughs> and when we will be doing the around <laughs> around the philippines with aiden rain uh nancy reyes lumen then we will be able to try it all and together. also anton well, and with anton diaz yeah what do you call your lechon uh oh wait i'm trying to switch the languages a pork is in English and in Estonia is Estonian is oh my god. Um Ah Siga Siga. How do you spell that? S I G A. S I G A Siga. Do you know what Siga is in, in Filipino? No. Uh you're like a um a Siga Siga. Tough guy, you know, Siga. I also know Sige. Sige, sige, sige like, means go on, yeah. proceed. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Okay. What's that? Ah, oh, it's liver. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's, it's sausages made from, from, from blood of some animals. Can you imagine that? Yeah, yeah. No, we are, it's like dinuguan. Did you ever eat dinuguan? No, I haven't. <laughs> on our show, on our cooking show, let's do it. Yeah, you promise? <laughs> I promise I will try. You know, some, some people who do not know Philippine cooking, 
they say, oh, these people, they eat this blood soup, but they don't realize that in Germany and uh, in like yes. in your country, they yes. also use blood and they make it into sausage. Yeah, and here too, here too. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, we were eating it a lot. Yeah, yeah. all the time. Uh huh. Actually, it tastes like liver. It's kind of, it's kind of good. Wow. Oh yeah. Nice. This uh, yeah, this is like a local. Uh, I don't know what's the name of it in English, but it's like a local sardines. So yeah. it's like a little fish, you uh -huh. know, which is like in Baltic Sea here, here in Baltic Sea, because Estonia is also surrounded with with uh, with uh, with sea with water so so we both that, see this fish that looks like it was smoked or it uh, is uh, it is traditional it is traditional bread with with um egg uh with egg yeah with boiled egg some uh, some um butter and uh, you see this uh, chives and, uh, yeah. and and yeah and this fish wow on yeah, I think you will love it. I will bring it next time. <laughs> okay. I got I already have to make a list of the things that I have to bring. <laughs> you don't have to. We have sardines also in the Philippines, fresh. But it's not the sardines. This is different thing. I don't know. It's it's different. Really? Mhm. Mm okay. Next. <clears throat> oh, here we go again. Yes. Oh. Wow. Well, this is me. I, as you see, I, I, my looks changed a little bit since I was there in Philippines. So I grew my hair. And, uh -huh. uh, yeah. So. Okay. Was this your so, modeling time? This was your modeling. No, this, this was just recently. I was, I was modeling for some restaurant. Uh -huh. I was like ma making an ad for the restaurant. Yeah. Okay. So we can. Oh, there. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Here are the kids. Yeah. Uh huh. And then there's another one there. This is ah, so. This exactly. Where was this? This, this is a loved flock that I was uh -huh. telling to you. Yeah. So Babe Henares, Joy, and here Gegi Gudito, and also Des. My God, these people are amazing. They became uh, Tita Ao. Uh, uh, Tita Ao. They and you see me also in the middle there yeah. in black. Yeah, yeah so. you're the one. You're the one who's so white out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like how they called me white monkey. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Me? But, but, exactly. I mean, not them, but everybody called me white monkey. I was like, okay, <laughs> at least nothing, nothing, you know, nothing rude and nothing nasty. I will take that. I will take that. You know, not a problem. <laughs> So this is the group Loved Flock. Yeah, yeah. They're amazing spiritual Christian group. Uh -huh. uh, my family, I love them so much. Okay. I, hello, I hope they all watch you. Here. Of course they will. Of course they will. Okay. So maybe we should go now to the most important part of the, the, this interview. But uh, again, we would like to play this. This is the... the Production. I'm recording right now the choir from the Philippines, the Estonian National Choir. me now now uh now we would like to listen really to the to the way it was produced um can we play the whole thing or how is it 
uh, 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 which whole thing? The the, like, the 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 song Philippines. This snippet that you have, like sixty sixty seconds. Do you have it? I will see. If, hold uh -huh. on. Let me first uh, take. We, because unfortunately, we cannot play the whole song right now. But there is a snippet that I that I that I've sent to you. Okay. Hold on. I think you have it. Okay. I hope Anton was. Anton did the short one. Is that it? Here it is. Yes. Well, unfortunately, is. as you said, we cannot. We cannot, we cannot play the, the whole song because it's not released yet. Yeah. Yes. But, when when are you planning? Well, it all depends. I hope soon. I hope soon we will be able to make it. Yeah, with a little help of of my friends. You know how my yeah, favorite calling singer is. Philippine exactly. Airlines. Yes. <laughs> and all the other airlines. Come on, this is gonna <laughs> actually. I, I, I'm just, this is just in my head. But when you see the images of our awesome planet, the photos that are all the places that Anton has been to, it really fits right in. Oh, I'm having goosebumps. Oh, well, well, yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. I, I can imagine the whole song already. And uh, it's 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 a dedication. It's a dedication. It is. It is. It's and it's not just one version. It will be like a few versions. If you if will be, it will be this version. It will be dance version. It will be like reggae version. It will be beautiful <laughs> and and amazing other songs like about the island and stuff like that. It will be an amazing project. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Nancy. Okay. All right. So before we end. Um, before we end, I would like to say that, uh, first of all, in behalf of Filipinos, thank you very much. And as you said, your audience will be Filipinos all over the world. Uh -huh. Saudi Arabia, Hong Kong. Filipinos are, are all, oh, really, literally, they're all over the world. And um, they are, they adjust so well to to their surroundings and they they are respected for their for their work because they're hard working people and uh, i think this is a dedication to them yeah but you said um i want you to repeat uh, the main idea why you wrote the philippines project <clears throat> uh, i want to connect people through their hearts mm -hmm. you know that's the most important thing. I want to connect Filipinos because I know there's they 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 are spread all around the world. And uh, sometimes, of course, all of us when we are not in our home countries, we uh, we might feel lonely when we are not you know with our families together. We yeah. can feel alone, lonely, and uh, down sometimes a little bit. So I want to connect through each other's hearts. You know. I want to connect Filipinos through their hearts, you know. Mm -hmm. I want to connect, uh, because the song music can connect souls, the, uh, it can connect hearts. Mm -hmm. it can, uh, you know, with music, there's no boundaries, there's no space and time, there's no, you know, distances. It's yeah. just love. So this is the main thing. Okay. There are three, I think, three, so far, what I think, three important 
connections that Filipinos have that connects them to each other in the world and to all other cultures. That is food, music, and prayer. Exactly. Is, yeah. These ones, they connect. That's why Filipinos are very relational because of food, music, and prayer. And um, because of that, I would like to thank you very much, Aiden. Finally, we got to do this interview. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> we, found, we found the correct timeline to connect us all. Manila, exactly. Estonia and uh, Houston. And seeing you again after how many years that we have? Oh, after fi let's put it that way. After yeah. a few years. After a few <laughs> years. Because, yeah. because uh, as you remember, there is no space and uh, time. When it comes to entertainment, when it comes to music, when it comes to culture, you know, there is no space and time. You're Mahal right. kita, Nancy. Mahal, Mahal kita, kita. Uh, Anton Diaz. Okay. I love you guys so much. Yeah. Uh, when you meet Anton, you will, you will have a good time sharing all these things. And then the music can be played together with his... Uh, with the photos of all the places he's been of to. Of course. You should, you should challenge him to go to Estonia. Actually, uh, actually, <laughs> let, let's do it. Let's do it. If I'll be still here, then why not? Well, my husband was listening. He said, yeah, let's go to Estonia. Oh, yeah. Please, please, yeah. finally, yeah. Do you have a summer there or is your summer also? <laughs> oh, my God. S summer is just like two months, maybe. Uh, July, August will be all right for you. Uh-huh. And that's right. it. <laughs> yeah, okay. let's put it there. Maybe right. June sometimes, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll end with one of your songs.
palace, but love is great.